the team fights, why they want to supplement that with a Rumble. A very good pick into the Jace too, very uh, conventional answer to the Jace when Kennen is banned. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I like the fact that oh, the members already in Revolta's jungle and that's going to be members. taken away. See whether they just try and give it over to Scout. They're going to fight. Oh, Jock's just going to get the knock up here. They're going to have to throw it away. Exhaust on to clear love. Jockster has to flash on this one. EDG have the stronger skirmish in the early levels, and they're chasing down for Jockster. That is first blood to clear love. And one more time, EDG with a very clear... Use that push, and all of a sudden, Scout's level six. This is looking bad. Oh, they lay in wait. Just for Jockster and Macau. There is no way they're getting out of this one. Only flash for Macau, and he's going to go down! Unleash the power level six. Jockster's running away as Mako tanks up the turret. He won't get very far, though. He still has no summoners, and Death picks up a kill. The cascading pressure from the mid world of trouble. There goes the equalizer. Yang knows the game is up. He's stunned. He doesn't flash this one. He's going to burn it now, but Mako and Scout and Death are right on top of him. Throws down the hammer. Death Mako. gets eaten up. Saves his life. Mako is able to keep Death in. Let the chase get a little bit ahead. It is not needed. And the curtain call opens up. And they throw the equalizer. All of a sudden, a massive collapse for Voltus here. Macau is going to heal, but that's not going to keep him alive for much longer. They throw everything on him as he's slowly struggling away. Jockster getting swallowed by Mako. And Mouse will pick up the kill. One for EDG. Yeah, he can poke, but there's just a lack of follow-up here. Right now, it's oh, here we go. Combo to trap. This may get ugly. Oh, ahead by Pulverize. Equalizer's on. Macau standing right into it, but Mouse is gonna go down. Jockster burning. They have to trade aggro here, so they will secure that. That's the first kill for INTZ, but they trade it for another dragon. But if finally, INTZ actually make it. Bot lane playing too. Ooh, getting engaged right now. Oh boy, has to burn that flash, followed by Clear Love. The knockup is there. The stun does not connect, but Tom Catch is coming in hot. And they don't even need the curtain call. Mako with the finisher. Yeah, really nicely played. I mean, we can call. There's no QSS finish, so Revolt that could turn the tides. Yeah, Clear Love trying to take out this blue buff here. Should be able to secure it. Smite it, and Death just instantly goes on. Macau going down slow by the Equalizer, and Jockster's getting barbecued here. Has to run away. That is another big area. Jockster is going to have to throw down the Unbreakable Will and tanking up the Curtain Call. He's gotten two off now. The third, final, fourth one hits. In goes Clear Love. They want to finish the job here. Should be able to do it. Clear Love picking up the kill, shredding through the tank. Talker's on the retreat path, trying to two step his way to freedom. And he might just get out for now. One kill, though, picked up. And that's part of the front, big part of the front line gone for INTZ. And look how non committal EDG's comp is. They just keep him at arm's length the whole way. They chip them down. Finally, the ultimate runs out. Now they have access to that mid lane. Uh oh, Revolta has to burn his flash, and Scout finishes him off, anyways. EDG are just stiff arming INTZ on this. Talkers with a desperate charge in the pool. He goes, and he nearly goes down. Hemoplague does not do a thing. Looking very, very grim for INTZ. Yeah, it certainly is, and I mean, EDG just want to keep taking the maximum here. Ballsy play on the blue buff. Uh-oh, Jockster, we've seen this before. He's going down. Scout finishes the job this time, and Talkers on the retreat path. It's the same old tune. And that is the power of that gold lead that we were talking about. Mikau right now is under pressure. One, he knows he's a dead man. Two. Oh, and the flash. Many times. They just keep marching and pushing and taking down Whoa. this tower slowly. The damage, the equalizer. Scout is on a rampage now. And they finish off Jaxor or look to do it in just a few more moments. Clear love, and that's a double kill for Scout. They just keep on going. Talkers, he's trying for more, but Scout is just wrecking through the team. Clear love will fall. Scout will pick up the quadra. Can he get the final? Ooh. No, he can't. Talkers with a big shutdown. Yeah, and one more time, Scout goes over the wall aggressively. The reason they like to use Scout is his ability to leave lane early. He's willing to play that team focus game. There's now Yang being caught off. Okay, Mouse is a little bit low, and Yang thinks he might be able to trade one for one, but that's not happening. The gang squad's arrived, and he's dead. The zoning equalizer. The best of all here, but on the back end, the re-engage comes out. And the teleport for Mouse. The curtain call is open. Keeps on going. Jockster still trying to push him out. Mouse looking for a flank on in. They want to find Talkers for the damage. Macau keeping a respectful distance. They've got the stun. They can eat him right on up. Mako's there. Jockster's going down, and Talkers comes into the back line. But Depp says, no way, and they are right onto the Baron. And EDG just looks so controlled in these team fights. They're not overreaching. Mouse this time zones away two people, and they just clean up everyone else. Yeah, Yang's coming in with a teleport. He needs a good combo here and on Scout, Macau, baby. Ooh, Scout just finishes the job right back on Baron. They go in for seconds, and this would be a miracle steal for Avolta. He is in full vision, and EDG are just controlling, not finishing off the Baron. They are Holding. waiting for the moment. This is such great calm play here from EDG. Completely unexpected, honestly, from a team outside of the LPL Legion to 
keep that Baron on 1.5k speed. The company their inhibitor's gone. All right, talkers. Going a little bit too deep into this one. Has to pool his way to freedom, or is it? Proto Belt in goes Joxer once again. Desperation fight. Talkers tries to go one more time, but he gets exhausted. Death takes down Joxer, and there just is not enough damage left in his composition. Yang on the Whoa. side trying to find the kills. Scout just picks up yet another. Under Macau, the damage is gone. Talkers is gonna go down just out of his pool, and Death with a dominating kill. EDG, they make it look easy, but there's a couple of really sweet plays in that fight. That flash from Death, another good double spear connect from the Syndra. So well oiled, so great teamwork as well. What a magnificent performance from EDG. Absolutely, it only took them 35 minutes and they have silenced any more critics we would have had about them. EDG, take down INTZ. And you have to look at the fashion that they do it in. I mean, being able to pick up a controlled, decisive victory where at every stage of the game, they were the proactive team. And probably the favorite play still for me is the level one. The fact that Kirillov has the presence of mind saying, you know what, I'll be leaning on the right side of the map with my plays and pressure. So what do I want to do? I want to secure the left side just to gain information. And he starts with the Wolf Smite, moves over. The Revolta Invade gets forward because he suddenly is trying to jungle while somebody's watching you. It's really annoying when that Wolf Sprite is kind of watching you. So he has to get, in, get out of the jungle. Then Maus dropped the ward there. Really just working as a unit from EDG.